I think it's important to understand, you know, that this is a private business, uh, private sector business, um, fully owned by the private sector, and the, and the farmers are, are private sector as well. You know, it's it's a well established commercial principle: willing buyer, willing seller. I mean, both sides have to be content with, with whatever uh, the, the contract is. Um, you know, otherwise they can't reach an agreement on it. I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't have a long term commercial agreement in place before the beginning of crop, if, if people are reasonable and if people are uh, demonstrating common sense and, and, and rational thought, I, I don't really don't see why there should be an issue. I, I'm not quite sure why it's taken so long. I mean, we, we have made it clear all along. We, we as a mill, same as farmers, have come through a number of difficult years for the sugar industry because we are exposed by about 80% to the global market for sugar. So that's what dictates our revenues. It dictates the cane price in the end. Uh, so, you know, as a mill, we've come off the last five years of consecutive losses. Um, so, frankly, some of the demands that, that, are, that are being placed before us are, are, are not credible. And uh, I think, you know, if, if we can, uh, with maybe with the help of a, a sensible mediator, then, you know, maybe, maybe that, you know, the, the, the two sides could look at each other's positions and, and come to a better outcome.